Today, we're going to make a digital business card, and it's going to look something like this. So recently, I've done a video uh, where I highlighted the QR code functions within Lightburn. Uh, well, this is part of it. It's just more of a formatting issue. And I had a viewer, Brad, ask if I would go through the steps to do a business card. So we're going to do that. Thank you, Brad, for the topic suggestion. So we're going to get our information put together first, and then we will line up the card for the laser. We're going to cut a um, template out of some cardboard, and then we're going to burn this card. All right, so we're going to go up to Tools and down to Create Barcode. And I said this in the last video, up until version 1.7, this option would have said create QR code. Uh, and we know a QR code is just a two-dimensional barcode. So in 1.7, Lightburn kind of rolled everything together. Uh, but before, you would have had to, if you were going to do a standard barcode, uh, like you see in the grocery store, UPCs, or uh, some of the other types, you would have had to download them and add them to Lightburn. Well, now you don't have to do that. Uh, maybe if it's something you don't need or something they don't have that you need. Uh, so we're just going to click. And then you get this, uh, you get this icon. You're going to drag out your barcode. And it defaulted to QR code because that's where I, I had it. But you have three options with QR codes. Uh, the bottom two, you don't, have a formatting uh, option you have to put in only raw content so we're going to go with QR code we have a contact option you can click that and just start typing information and just because it says first name and last name don't mean that's what you got to put in there so we're just going to put uh, Billy Bob's If I can spell Billy Bob's Tires. Now this uh, last name, you could also put uh, your Instagram or your X or something like that. But we're going to put, put it down here in note. So Billy Bob's Tires, address. Uh, I guess he lives on Tire Lane. And, of course, his phone number will be 555-555-5555. So, in this note now, you can, put, uh, you can put your Instagram, you can put X, you can put anything else. So, when we get done with this, uh, you'll be able to show this card to someone. They can just scan it, and it's going to give them a, uh, a chance to save your information to their phone, which is a good thing. So we'll just do uh, Instagram. I don't have Instagram, so, you know. And we'll just do, I guess it's an at sign, at Billy Bob's. Fake, Billy Bob's fake one, that works good. And we'll do the same thing for email. But you get the idea. That'll be fake too. Let's see. At email.com. That'll keep me from crossing over with a real Billy Bob. I'm sure there's a lot of them out there, especially down here in the South. So Billy Bob's got a got a website too. And that's going to be Billy Bob's Tires. And better put a fake on that just to make sure we don't cross over. Okay, so now we have this. And uh, this, once, this gives you formatting, but it's ultimately going to migrate over to the raw content. So we click OK, and now you want to click 
the selector tool, and you want to make this a fill. Be sure it's a fill. That is not the one I want. This is the one I want. So I've got a 40 watt laser. We're using anodized aluminum for the card. And I've got a speed of 100 and a power of 20. Now, I don't do these a lot. Uh, and of course, it, this will be specific to your, to your laser. All right, so this is going to be the back of the card. Uh, so let's get our size. Just grab a square. Drag out a rectangle. Make it a cut because initially we're going to cut this out of cardboard. And then when we uh, burn our card, we will make this a tool line. So click OK. Uh, make sure your lock is off up top. We're going to make the width. Now this is a standard card as far as I know. Uh, in millimeters, it's 86.05. And the width is 54.05. Okay, so that's the kind of room we got to work with. And we're going to flip this. I just selected and flipped it with the period key. Clockwise. Now remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. So we're just going to set this side up like this. Now, once you get this card, matter of fact, just to make sure this works, you can take your phone while this is sitting here and scan it and see if it gives you a contact for Billy Bob. Uh, my phone's way over there. So just check it and uh, you'll know if it works. Now, these are vectors. So we can grab that and we can downsize it some. And get it over here on this card. And then that'll give us room. Now while you're putting that in there. You can hold the Alt key. And it'll center it for you. And up here we'll just put Billy Bob's contact information. Or something like that. So I'm going to grab the text tool. And. Make that. Somewhat smaller. Okay. If you resize, you have to click again, otherwise it won't uh, it won't start typing. Billy Bob's contact info. We'll do that. We will click OK, and I think we will use. Uh, We'll use a stencil font. Those burn pretty good, at least in the ones I've I've done before. And of course, put that on the same layer. And if you don't have a stencil font, I will put a link in the description and you can go grab yourself one for free. So again, hold Alt. And there we go. That side of the card is done. So on the other side, I'm just going to grab a copy of this, Control D, and I'm going to flip it counterclockwise with the comma key. So on the front of the card, we just want to put something, uh, it can be Billy Bob's tires. I'm going to copy this to save time. Pull it over here. Make it a little bigger. And there's a lot you can do with this uh, barcode function. It's uh, really good that the smart folks at Lightburn done this for us. Okay, that's tires. All right, so you can stretch this out on the front of the card. Uh, you could add a tire vector to it. You can do whatever you want. All right, so that is the other side of the card. Now back to this uh, QR code. And I'll link that first video 
uh, in the description because we talked a little bit about some of the other options. Now with this, you can double click or you can right click. Now remember I said this would migrate over to the raw content. It should be there formatted. And so you could put it in here if you wanted to, but the other way certainly saves time. You can also do Wi-Fi. Uh, I've done one of those for the house the other day. It works really well. Uh, and you don't have to keep giving people your password. You can just uh, let them scan it, and away they go. Uh, okay, we're just going to click OK. I'm going to lock these together, group them. I'm going to group this one. No, I'm not. I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to Control Z and go back. I was getting ahead of myself. Okay, so I want to set this up. I'm going to move this out of the way. When you're, when you're setting up a template, you want to know where you need the items to be. So back about 1.5 of light burn they added this draggable lines function so i'm going to drag one out to 140 or somewhere close then go to the top and grab one this only comes from the left margin or from the top okay and i'm going to go around five four and that should work i'm going to pull these back up out of the way And then I'm going to get one of these, Control D, and just move it out with the arrow keys. Now, once you get these draggable lines out, you can drag across, go to your Shape Properties tab, and then you can lock those into place. If you don't have that tab, you can go to Window, and down to Shape Properties, and be sure that's checked. Uh, that comes in handy. All right, so once you get your, we're going to cut this rectangle out of the cardboard. So you want to get it down to that corner. Grab it, hold the Alt key, and then snap it right there in that corner. So we're going to cut that out. Uh, and then we will come back and get this information and I'll just go ahead and make these a tool. That's a tool. That's a tool. We really don't need them anyway. We got them just for uh, for sizing things up. And we will move these off of the screen. Not really necessary because uh, over here in on the laser tab. If you select, uh, turn on cut selected graphics, it wouldn't cut those anyway. But I got in the habit of doing it, so I'm going to keep doing it. All right, so we're going to cut this out. And then we're going to burn one side of this. Then we're going to flip the card over and burn the other side. So I'm going to jump in the laser and... Cut this out and then just come back and move those over to burn. We'll check it out and see if it works. All right, folks, I will be right back. All right, we've got a thin piece of cardboard for this template. Uh, if you were going to do a lot of these, you might want to use something more permanent. Uh, we're not going to use the air assist. I don't want to blow the card around and get it off center. Uh, I added a couple of tie-down holes that will cut out as well as a finger hole. And then we'll tie it down better with these uh, magnetic tie downs. So we'll cut the template and then we will burn each side of the card. Okay, let's get at it. If you've only got a few of these to do, this is a really great way to do it.
you want to get you some of these tweezers too. They come in handy. So these tie downs will just help keep it tighter so it doesn't uh, these go in at an angle so they're a little hard sometimes. But you don't want your card moving around and you want it to be easy to retrieve and you can do that with this little finger hole. Uh, and you really no need to use an air assist. So okay, let's burn one side and then we'll flip it over and get the other side. That looks pretty good. We're just going to flip it over and do the other side. So one of the questions you might have is why does this not flake off? And looking for my tweezers. The anodizing process turns that into an aluminum oxide layer that's really hard. I hope you can see that. My camera's in a weird position. But if you scan that, you should get a contact card for Billy Bob's in case you need some tires. And this is a pretty easy process. And you could keep this in your wallet. And when you run out of the regular business cards, if you have any, then you just have somebody scan this. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. If you have questions, let me know. I'm glad to answer them. Uh, I'm not an expert with it, but I have played around with it a little bit. I'll hold this up a little more while I'm talking. And uh, I appreciate the questions and comments. And I really appreciate the topic suggestion from Brad. So uh, please like and subscribe if this was helpful. It helps the channel grow and it helps me to keep doing this. I like being in the shop as much as possible. So just check back off for new videos. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.